welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. Uh, we're going to be flying out here in Lake Huron today with Leechy and trying to get screen recording right. So uh, I think I got it figured out. The biggest thing is at the end of screen recording, uh, saving the video out. So a little bit blustery. I'm also going to try mic recording on this. So anyways, I've checked hover. I'm good to fly. So I'm going to take it up. I'm not going to get uh, too much here. We do have a little bit of blustery wind today. But it is a pretty day, so I want to get out here and do a little bit of flying and test out lychee. So with that said, let's go ahead and touch the takeoff icon, confirm takeoff, and hopefully we're taking off. Why are we not taking off? Take off now. Take off. I am connected. So for some reason, uh, auto takeoff wouldn't wouldn't launch. So I don't know. I manually took off. I am getting video updates. Um, the video on Leechy is running, so hopefully everything will work here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, mess around a little bit. I don't like I say I'm not going to get too aggressive uh, with this uh, today. Just kind of mess around a little bit. Doing some videos. Uh, for example, what we may do is just, you know, take it up the beach a little bit. Uh, I still have it in sport mode. I did not get out of sport mode. I think that was the problem with launching it. I had the controller in sport mode. Uh, so I'm going to have to try that one again. But, uh, yeah, we'll run it back here. And just kind of exercise it back and forth a little bit. I feel a little bit comfortable now because in the last video, you guys might remember, I had to bring it back via sport mode. I was running a little bit short on battery. And so, uh, but anyways, we're just up there a little bit hovering away and just kind of watching out over the lake. There's a few sailboats out there. Hoping some ships will come by. Uh, we got the, uh, if I point it around this way, we got the Fort Gratiot Lighthouse and the Blue Water Bridge down there. So, uh, just not much going on today. Again, hoping to see, see some ships. And again, I don't see too much. We flew out on the buoys in the last episode. Uh, and maybe what we'll do is we'll just kind of head back out that way today and see what happens. I don't think, I'm not sure I'm going to fly all the way out there. But what I might do is just kind of fly around a little bit and just kind of angle it back up and then angle it back around and just do some flying again I'm just pretty much just want to get some flight in there to experiment with the uh, the screen recording on lychee to see how this does also I'm using an external mic and trying to record directly to the screen recording on lychee and so again I'm just kind of flying it around out there I'm just kind of looping it I'm gonna may have it make a loop uh, round back towards me and just fly back in towards me. Nothing again, a little too aggressive. Again, just kind of messing around, getting some screen recording. It's a pretty day. It's a high 60s out here, so on the water. So uh, beach is a bit empty, which is a good thing. Gives me the opportunity to fly a little bit out here. And so again, I've got this full stick. This is full stick in standard mode. And just kind of looping it back around. Let's go back out again. And we're just kind of lazily taking it along. That's what I kind of like about the Spark is, I mean, it's not, it's not aggressive. Um, or you can turn it down not to be aggressive. Outside of sport mode, it's uh, pretty docile. So it's, it's you know, not kind of racing around. You know, like with the Phantom 3, and I bring the Phantom 3 out here, you know, that thing really moves. And, you know, it is a, it's not a hugely tight space out here, but there are people at, you know, distances over there and everything. And I want to stay away from them, and, and this gives me some nice control over that. And so, just kind of spin it around. Jeez, it's kind of cool out here. My glasses are fogging from my breath. 
And again, we're just kind of taking it out again. Uh, battery still looks really, really strong. So, uh, again, just flying some loops. And we'll bring it back in. I'm going to turn around bring it back in towards me. You know, that's why I really like the Wakira with its headlights. Because you can tell what direction. This is a little bit hard to see which direction it's uh, pointing. And when it gets out there, it just looks like a dot moving. So, And just kind of spinning it around. And just kind of spin it around to take it back out. I take it up a little bit more. And just spin it around. Just bringing it back. And I'm just going to hold up and take a look out there. Kind of let my eyes adjust to the screen. And it's just uh, hovering up there. So let's, uh, let's bring it back a little bit over towards my side. And we're just letting it hover. Got to readjust the hat cam here, folks. And again, it's just uh, hovering up there. Yeah, we'll give Norbert a little bit of a yaw party. We're not too high up, but you can kind of see the surroundings. Uh, again, the Blue Water Bridge and lighthouse, be lighthouse down there. So the wind is really kind of picking up. And again, I'm just kind of watching how things are going. And I want to bring it back. So I think this should be pretty good for a test. I mean, I've got a few more minutes on the battery, but I think I want to bring it down and uh, see how successful I was on the video. So let's go ahead. Actually, what I want to do is clean this pad off after the last landing or takeoff. Got a bit of sand on it. Uh, actually, I think I'm going to try something. So uh, I'm at 52% on battery, so I'm still pretty good. But I want to, I want to bring this down, and uh, I want to turn this around. And uh, so I should be capturing. Yep, that's me. I want to make sure I'm capturing some video of this straight on. I don't want to get too close, but I want to make sure I'm getting some video of this straight on on the lake. And then what I want to do is hopefully I'm going to be a human tripod and I'm going to turn this slowly and race it out. And I think I'm going to work on that maybe as a little bit of uh, maybe some new intro footage. I want to do some new intro footage uh, for the videos. So uh, there you go, folks. I was a human tripod. Yeah, watch you don't back it up into yourself, Joe. That wouldn't be good. It's at about face level. So anyways, uh, let's back it up a little bit. And let's see about setting it down. And there we go. So another good flight. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to break the wind here. So I'm not sure how much that's muffling. And so I'm going to scroll up and then I'm going to say stop recording. I think I saved it. So what I want to do is I want to also save the copter video. I think it actually saved the copter video on its own when I landed. So I want to save this. And let's go see in photos 
if I have a video there. And, uh, yes, folks, it looks like I have a video. So hopefully you'll be seeing this video as I'm playing this through. And uh, hopefully maybe we have some improved audio on this. So, anyways, another great flight of the Spark over Lake Huron. So we got this bad boy. So Lake Huron, a little bit of a blustery day, but uh, made good. Let me know what you guys think about for lunch. Mia was bologna sandwich today, a couple pretzels. Schneider's, really enjoy Schneider's pretzels. And hey, uh, don't forget to subscribe button and hit that thumbs up. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.